hi guys welcome back to my channel i got eyelash extensions so i look a little different than usual i'm loving them so far because i just don't look as ugly without makeup anymore so if you guys don't know street woman fighter it's like this korean tv show that has like a bunch of girl dancers and they come out as a team and they like verse each other and they like battle each other and it's like really fun so it ended like last week but i I still am obsessed with it and I've been watching like short clips on YouTube so I was really inspired by like their makeup like kind of smoky kind of like a cat eye before we get started though I wanted to introduce you to a perfume brand these are the dossier perfumes so dossier sent me these two scents to try out aquatic coconut and floral lavender I feel like they named it so well because it's very fresh so aquatic it gives that fresh feeling yeah and then i'm gonna try the floral lavender so this is definitely a sweeter scent and i feel like i would wear this on like a date night out dacia reproduces luxury high-end scents at a fraction of the price their prices are at 29 dollars compared to luxury brands which are 50 to 300 dollars what i really like about dacia is that they actually send you a small sample bottle of the same scent when you order so you can try that out and if you don't like it you can return the scent and order a new one and i feel like this is really good because you can actually try out the scent before committing to them they're always releasing new scents so there's always something to look out for so don't forget to check out dossier and i also have a coupon code for 10 percent off it's crystal 10 and i'll also leave down the link to their site so you guys can check them out now let's get on to the makeup okay so i know in my last video i told you guys that i was gonna buy this facial cream and I bought it. It is so good. I moisturized before earlier, but I still like to moisturize again before putting on makeup because my skin is very dry. I'm gonna use the Laneige Skin Veil Base. Oh my god, I forgot to put on contacts. I'm gonna use the Olin's Russian Smoky Contacts. I like these. Okay, now as usual, I'm using the Grease Paint Concealer. I feel like I'm a little insecure of my eye bags. Sometimes when it's really bad, it shows through my makeup. Today, I want to use the YSL All Hours Foundation. Um, this one is a little bright. This is in the shade B05 Milk, and it is a very light foundation. But since I'm not going to be really heading out today for anything, I'm just going to use this. I wouldn't say this is my favorite foundation, but it works. The coverage is okay. It's just I bought a shade a little too light, so it's a little hard to work with, but it is a-okay makes my face so white i'm actually thinking about doing like daily vlogs i know it's gonna be so hard because it's really hard for me to upload even two videos in a week it's really difficult for me to be natural in front of the camera like show my natural self and you know just like vlog everything that i'm doing but i feel like doing daily vlogs is gonna like, kind of like help me be a little more natural in front of the camera like a raw unfiltered vlog series oh my god this foundation is so freaking light i should have mixed with something else but i'm determined to make this work as usual, I'm using the Givenchy Prism Libre powder. I'm gonna contour my nose with the Peripera Ink Free Shading. Just wanna go a little down. And then I'm gonna draw my brows. I'm using the Peri Pera Speedy Skinny Brow in Dark Brown. I kind of shaped my brows a little thinner than what I usually shape them. And I think I like this better. I feel like my brows were too thick before. Now that my brows are a little skinnier, I think I can draw them arched. Okay, 
so apparently Nose, she uses the Naked 3 palette. I haven't taken this out in like so freaking long. This used to be my favorite palette ever, but I stopped using them. I'm gonna use this shade all the way on, just on the lids. But speaking of vlogs and like being transparent, I guess, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. I'm not very consistent with it, but like time-wise, I've been doing it for like a few years now. I've never been like fully transparent in my vlogs or just in my videos in general. And also people around me, most of them don't know I do YouTube and I try to like hide it because it's a little embarrassing, especially because for people that I don't know well, um, I don't show my bare face. I'm kind of insecure of it. That's why I don't try to show it. But yeah, I'm taking the same shade on the lower lash line, by the way. How would you guys like more vlogs? I know some people wanted my videos to be longer and I kind of understand because usually when I'm getting ready and the videos are like five minutes long, I don't want to watch them because I know that it's gonna take more time for me to get ready. For that, I like watching videos that are like 15 minutes or longer. So I understand, guys. Nooner, which is a purplish shade and I'm gonna apply it all over the lids and create like depth I guess to the lids but I'm not gonna take it too high up I'm just gonna kind of make it a gradual I think I'm gonna like how this turns out and then I'm taking a smaller brush and the same nooner shade and I'm gonna apply that to the bottom outer corners I'm gonna take this shade Factory and using a thinner brush, I'm gonna kind of smoke this out into a wing because I'm trying to do like a cat eye here. And then I'm gonna take the same shade and apply it for the inner corner. And this is gonna act like kind of like an eyeliner. I'm going to take the MAC Queen New York Waterproof Pen Eyeliner in Deep Brown. Line the, the lash line. I'm going to draw the inner corners a little bit. I'm just going to draw the wing like so. I like this look. I like this cat eye look. Now, I just want to do a little bottom lash mascara. I'm going to take the mascara fixer for a long lash. It's going to make my lashes look longer. And then the Etude House Curl Fix mascara in black. Oh my god, guys, I really like this makeup, actually. It's like a very easy, smoky eye look. I want to go for like a nude blush, and I think I want to place it right here. Usually, I place it in the center. So I'm taking the Clinique Cheek Pop in Nude Pop, and then I'm taking that on the edges. And I usually don't do this, but going for a different look today, so... I bought this palette recently. This is the Tea Some Eye Blush palette, but I really like this blush, especially for this look. So I'm gonna take this. I'm taking that on top. I'm gonna do a little shading, and I'm taking the same Peri Para Ink V shading in Hazel Gray. I'm doing the jawline and also the cheekbone forehead which doesn't really matter because i'm gonna be wearing a beanie anyways so i'm just gonna try to use this color this is the powder kiss liquid lipstick from matte in make love to the camera it's a very deep shade so it's let's see 